We know about the hype of number 10 in football from the likes of Maradona, Pele, Messi, and many other greats wearing it. Similarly, the number seven holds its own respects as David Beckham wore it, and now Cristiano Ronaldo wears it. But you must have wondered why Ronaldinho wore the number 80 jersey for AC Milan. In case you've been wondering what it's for, Goal 90 brings you all you need to know. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe along with the bell icon. Now, without any further ado, let's get right into it. At number one, Ivan Zamorano wore one plus eight at Inter Milan. Ivan Zamorano owned a number nine jersey for Inter, but he was forced to give up his number nine shirt to Ronaldo as part of the Brazilian sponsorship deal with Nike. Then, Zamorano decided to take the number 18, but demanded to have a plus sign inserted. <laughs> Funny guy. At number two, Ronaldinho, number 80 at AC Milan. When Ronaldinho joined AC Milan, he couldn't have his favorite number 10 shirt because it was in the possession of Dutch legend Seedorf. Instead, he decided to wear the 80 shirt as a homage to the year he was born. At number three, Jorge Campos, number nine. We're familiar with goalkeepers wearing the number one jersey, but the legendary Mexican goalkeeper wore the number nine shirt because he began his career as a striker, scoring 28 goals for Una, and he kept it ever since. At number four, Vicente Lizarazu, number 69 at Bayern Munich. The 1998 French World Cup winner, Vicente Lizarazu, wore a number 69. He wore the number because he was born in 1969, 169 centimeters tall, and weighed 69 kilograms. What a coincidence! That totally deserved the number 69 jersey. At number five, Ossiar Dials, number one at the 1982 World Cup. The legendary World Cup winning midfielder wore the number one shirt because the Argentinian numbers were allocated by alphabetical order for the tournament and he was the first one on the list. However, Diego Maradona found a way to keep his number 10. At number six, Derek Riordan, number one at Ibernian. Riordan started his career with Ibernian where he wore the number 10 shirt. But after moving to Celtic for two seasons, Riordan returned to Easter Road to find Colin Nish was wearing his number 10, so he went for the closest thing possible. Number seven, Louis Zhao, number 111 at Flamengo. Louis Zhao usually wore a number four jersey, but in 2006, the Brazilian international wore the number 111 for the season to celebrate Flamengo's 111th anniversary as a football club. Number eight, Hikam Ziruali number zero at Aberdeen. The Moroccan striker wore the number zero after he was given permission by the SFA to honor his own nickname on the back of his shirt, Zero. Number nine, Elaine Sutter, number 66 at Dallas Burn. The Swiss international midfielder let American culture go to his head when he picked 66 in reference to the highway, Route 66. Route 66 is quite famous in the United States and is called the Mother Road. Number 10, Adolfo Bautista, number 100 at Chivas de Guadalajara. The Mexican striker and football fashionista was the first man in the history of the game to wear three digits on the back of his shirt. He had no special reason like others on this list. He was just a fashion icon on football who wanted a number 100. Well, if you've made it to this minute of the video, do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you do have any suggestions on what we should do for our next video, do mention it in the comments section below. We hope to see you on our next video. Until then, goodbye and take care.